Hey, welcome to AntLab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Above, Above and Below. And Below. Um, Above and Below is um, kind of a game with a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. So it really is. So we're a replacement up. game, um, but it's got dice, it's got cards, um, right. it's got exploration and reading. So yes. um, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a whole mix of good things. Um, About think, 45 minutes. Uh, to I'd play. say, I'd say with, with two people, we're talking 30 to 40 yeah. minutes. It plays up to four. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a two to four player, I believe. But hey, let's, uh, let's go to the table and we'll see how it plays. Okay, welcome to the table. So we've got the, uh, the game Above and Below set up for a two-player game. And I'll just quickly run through the components we have out and, uh, and then we'll kick off the game. So here we have the, I guess you could just call it like the, it's not really like a player markers. board, but the game board, yeah. right? So on the game board you have all of your available workers for purchase, and this is their cost. You have the cider, and only one of those is available each round. You have, uh, this is a list of all of the available goods in order of rarity. So you've got from common down through rare. Um, this is the, oh, what's this track called? Uh, it's, it's like a it's reputation like a track. Yeah, it's like a uh, victory Not even a victory point track. track, it's a reputation track. We start here um, at this torch. But basically, as you do good deeds, it goes up the track. As you do bad deeds, it goes down the track. And you could actually start losing victory points at the end of the game. And these are just bonus points you'll get um, at the end of the game for wherever you finish on that track. So we start up here for three players, uh, for two players, rather. So we also have our player board set up. We have our three starting workers, and they're easy to identify by the backs or different than all the other available ones. So we've got three and each one has to be of a different type. So you've got a feather, you've got a hammer, and you've got one with just uh, these lanterns and we'll explain that as we play. We have our starting uh, village building that has three beds, enough to rest three of your workers. Down here we have our goods. Um, we'll explain how that track works as well as we start to play into it. Um, up here we have our, these are called star buildings. And there are six of them in the game, and they're they're like your higher end buildings that you want to, that you're going to want to get because they do a lot of end game scoring. Here you have your your key buildings, and the, and of the deck of nine, you draw four random for the game, and these are only available. Uh, these four are the only ones available. They're not going to get refreshed, so and that will change every game. Here we have your above ground buildings. There's four up, and every time somebody purchases one, you replace it with the next one on top of the deck. These are called outposts and they can only be built in caves. And in order to get a cave in your village, you have to do an exploration action. So that is the general setup. We have seven coins to start. Uh, I have eight because player two gets an extra dollar as compensation for going second, I guess. And that's really it. And how the, the, the game is gonna go, right now Francis is player one. So she's gonna take one action Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take an action. Then she's going to take an action until we both pass, and then it's and then we we finish. So there's um, an easy way to remember what actions you have. Um, this one is explore, and to explore you need at least two characters to do that. It doesn't matter which two. There's no other prerequisites. Um, this one is to harvest. If you have a building that generates food, and we'll show you those as we start buying them, you can harvest the food off of your building and put it into your inventory. Um, this one is to build a building. So you pay the cost of the building, uh, use a, a worker with the hammer, and you can build a building. Uh, here is train a worker. So someone with a feather can train a worker, and you can draw a worker from that stack and pay the price. And as they get purchased, the more expensive one starts to slide down and become cheaper. Uh, the final action is to just earn money. So you can send you know, a number of workers to do that and earn yourself money. The first person to do that gets to claim the cider token for the turn. The cider token is good because it allows you to basically rest a worker without having to have a bed for them. Uh, did I miss anything? I think that's pretty much it. Anything else we'll explain as we go? Yep. So I think that's the general overview. We'll show you how each part works while we do it. And we will start off with turn one. Okay, you're up. All right. Um, I'm going to move this card out of the way because it's right. just my one first player card. So like that. 
Um, so my, for my first move, I think I'm going to use my builder guy. And he's got the little hammer on his card there. Um, and I'm going to build this house right here. Oh, you're going right for I'm one of the key right houses. I'm going right for the key house. All right, explain um, what that so is. So the reason why I'm choosing this one, a lot of these cards have special abilities. The key houses, I don't know, maybe arguably have kind of better abilities. I think so. This is going to allow me to, anytime I train a new worker, instead of having to have that worker rest they come first, in, they he come comes in and kind of use, resting. Yeah. You know, or whatever. Because I guess they're training because they're just like super tired. So, right. <laughs> but instead of having them go to rest, um, I can actually put my workers right to work. So um, that's great. And then this is also going to give me a re-roll uh, when we're rolling for lanterns and exploring uh, the caves and stuff. So we'll see how that works as I go. But I'm going to put that here. Um, if you have a bigger play space, you can <laughs> kind of you can kind of stack these next to each other, and it creates this nice little linear village. But um, we don't have that much space on this for the tape and stuff, yeah, so we're gonna kind of line our houses down a little bit. We'll try to keep it as organized as we can. Um, but uh, but that's gonna cost me five. It's there, so I'll pay that to the bank. And I've put my worker there. He's resting, mm -hmm. and you are up. All right. So as Francis showed you, when you use a worker, they go into this exhausted area because they're tired now. Um, there are ways to expend them even further that'll make them injured and it just makes them take a little bit longer or require some other items to get them back to the ready so they can be used again uh, there's also an, a spot up here to sell mm -hmm. an item and you can put any item up here you want just one item and it's a free action you could just do it um, so if i were to put an item up here that would allow her the opportunity to purchase it at three plus whatever i decide she has to pay for it uh, we just stick with three though because it gets silly if we yeah the prices up but if I want to sell something, I know she might need it. She could pay me that three money and then take the item. Um, but she doesn't have to buy it. I could just sit it up there forever, which doesn't matter. But that's a free action, and we don't really use it that much. So mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm probably going to follow suit and buy. Hmm. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna train first. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna use her to train. And if it's going to cost me two, I'm going to take you the frog. You want to take this frog guy? Yep. All right. So he's going to come in, and he's going to come in tired. <laughs> so I'm not going to use him just yet. So okay. You're up. All right. And I'm going to, hmm. I think I'm going to actually just put this guy to work. So this is another action that you can take. Um, with this guy, he's got some lanterns, but he doesn't build anything. He doesn't train anybody. Um, so I'm just going to put him to work, which is kind of vague, but it's going to earn me one money to put him to work. And because I'm the first player to put him to work, um, I get to take the cider token mm -hmm. for this round. So I'm going to take that and I'll just put that kind of in my little camp area. Okay. All right. Uh, I think what I'll do... I, I, I don't want to explore just yet. <laughs> I think I'm going to build another building though. So okay. this guy's got a hammer so I can build. Uh, or build a building and build another one. I'm going to need another bed. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look like there's any buildings with beds. So that's going to be problematic. Well, you have this one. Well, it's nine though. Uh, yeah, it's a little yeah. bit out of my price range. <laughs> so, hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. But what I'll do is I will build... Kind of want to build. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll build this for three. So I'll pay five and take two back. And I will build this guy. Okay. All right. So with these houses, what this one's going to give me is uh, I'm going to generate one extra dollar per income at the end of the round. And I'm also going to take right now, one time, a potion. And I'll show you what a potion does in a little bit. Okay. So with these cards, they immediately get refreshed. So I will take the card off the stack, fill that space in, and then a new one gets revealed. Mm. It's the same with these. Yeah. Um, and there's my house. Yeah, there's your bed that you bed, need. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I can do this turn. So all you're right. Up. I'm up. Um, I'm going to... I think I'll actually train... Oh, I, yeah. I can train. All right. I'm going to train a worker. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to use her to train. So she's exhausted. She's going to go there. Um, I only have three money, so I'll buy this guy for three. I got my potion. 
Oh yeah, grab your potion. Uh -huh. Can you pay that to the bank for me? Yep. Thank you. Um, and I'll take this guy. And he's a builder. So the people that you buy also have little icons, so might, you know, help you figure out which one you want to get. But um, I'm going to put him... He goes into the ready. Here, yeah. he is ready to go. Yeah, I was just looking at that other guy, too. He uh -huh. actually has two on his. He has a hammer and a feather, that guy oh, up there. Oh, wow. You don't want him. But he only has two lanterns. And this guy, potentially, could have, could have three. three. All right. So, I'm, yeah, I'll understand yeah, that I when I start exploring. All right, so I'm just going to put him here. We'll see how that works. Yeah, he's going to the ready because mm -hmm. um, I have this ability. All right. I, I think I'll just um, put him to work and take a dollar. Kay. And that's it for me. All right. You're up. I, uh, I'm actually going to keep him there. You're not going to use him? No, I'm not going to use him. And I'll tell you why. Um, I don't have bed space. Mm -hmm. I do have the cider, but I kind of want to keep that. Really? Yeah, so I'm just going to keep him there for now. Okay, so that signals we both passed. It signals the end of the round. I get to, the first thing we do is she hands me the, the round marker. So now the player one marker. So now I, I'm actually player one next round. Uh, we put a new cider in mm -hmm. the supply. Okay. Oh, let me get that. Okay. Alright, so restock the villagers so they all slide okay, to the so left. They're all going to slide down. And they don't get refreshed until this point in the game. Um, and now we rest our villagers and then collect income. So I've got three beds. I can rest three of my villagers. Okay, and I have three beds so I can rest these three of mine as well. Right. And then we have... Um, Collect income. Okay. So we each get starting income of four. So you get four. One, two, three, four. And I get five because I get plus one for this building. All right. And the, is it, oh, I'm sorry, the round marker goes down. So show me where the round marker okay. is. I didn't go right over that. Here. So this is kind of like our time. So there's only seven rounds in the game. Mm -hmm. um, so it moves pretty quickly, actually. And um, our villages grow pretty quickly, too. They do. But, but yeah, but that's our time marker, so right. we'll move that down. So just to, to clarify the rules around the cider. So the cider will move. Instead of If you don't have a bed, the cider will, would actually, if I had a cider, I could move him here and mm -hmm. rest him. And yeah. that would cost me a cider. My potion, though, if I had somebody injured, it would bring him here. Mm -hmm. And then I could use a cider to bring him here. Yeah. But since I don't have another bed, he is going to be unusable next round. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Let's start up the next round. Okay, so I think I think right off the bat, I'm going to pay six bucks. And I'm going to build that house with the bed so that mm. I have a full complement of workers next round. Nice. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide these up like this because you only really so need to you see. Can see. Yeah. You only really need to see the bonuses. So could you hand mm -hmm. me the six? Dollar and all this gives me is a bed and a victory point at the end of the game. Mm. So, no more beds. and now I have four beds. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm up. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do? Well, I definitely don't want to train anybody else right now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got no beds on the board for purchase except for these kind of this expensive one. Um. Well, I know I'm not going to use her to train, and maybe I'll take these two and actually, maybe I'll explore. Okay, so, so go ahead and throw them on top of that. Yeah, we're going to put them, look. So when we explore, we're going to take the top card you from... Could. You could just throw them on there. Step. We'll just leave Do you want me to throw them yeah, on there? Yeah, just throw them on All there. Because right, sure. we just have no room. Yeah, we have <laughs> really no space right now. All right, so All they're right. exploring. Yep. And you get to roll. Okay. 1d6. All right. And if you want, we could... Uh, yeah, can I use the... Let's make sure it's in screen. Yep, you're good. All right. And we got a four. four. And the four is... Page 65. Story 65. Story. Oh, it's paragraph 65, yes, paragraph. correct? So yeah. this is the encounter book. There I'm going go. to read 65 from the book. So you just basically look for the number and then read the paragraph. So, a thin woman with a wooden staff and dark cloak approaches you, her face hidden in the shadows of her hood. I must ask something of you, she says. My traveling companions betrayed me and stole a precious tome of knowledge. 
It tells a legend of an ancient kingdom that ruled these caves long ago, and is the last of its kind. Could you please help me retrieve it? Do you decide to help the woman get the tome back, or do you hunt mm. down the group alone and take the tome for yourself? Ooh, how much is that going to... Okay, so get? there are two options here. So Francis could either help the woman, and she could do go for Explore 3 or Explore 6, mm -hmm. or she can go get the tome for herself and do an Explore 4 or Explore 6. Mm, and each of okay. those options is going to provide a different re reward if they're successful. And the way she determines whether or not she can make the Explore number, so Explore 3, Help the Woman, for example, she needs to get three lanterns out of the two of these. Mm -hmm. So it looks like basically if she rolls a one or a two, she'll get one lantern. If she rolls a three or a four, five, or six, she'll get two lanterns. If she rolls a two or better, she gets one on her. So at mm -hmm. max, you can get three lanterns. Right. Um, and she'll get to roll one die per mm -hmm. explorer, and she can set as many as yeah. she wants. So again, help the woman explore three or explore six, mm -hmm. or go get the tome for yourself, explore four, explore six. I guess I'm gonna do the explore three. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could expend yes. one of my workers and kind of put them, whoops, put them in this, like, injured area for Correct. one extra lantern. But, that is true. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead with the three, okay, I let's think see. so. And you wouldn't want to do that until after you roll. I don't want to do that anyway. Yeah, uh, we'll see. So, so for your first, and we'll just roll left to right. Left to right sounds perfect. Okay. All right, so I'm rolling for this mustache face yeah. real quick. <laughs> it's Mr. Mustache. All right. All right. Oh, oh I got a five. That's great. All right. So he's got me two lanterns. Right. Right. So you've got two so far. Okay. We need one more. So. And that's two or better. And you roll and a I two. And I roll two. So that's All perfect. Right, so you got exactly All right. So three. what happens? So with three, you get plus one reputation. Oh, perfect. Is that so, it? Yep. Oh, you okay. help the woman well, and you earn one reputation. Give so, it to you. I'll take that back. All right, so I'm going to move my reputation token up one. Correct. So I'm moving up there, and that's going to give me actually five things again if I keep them there. Um, and then I get to put these guys in my exhausted area. Mm -hmm. And then I get to take this card, which is going to be one of my, it's going to be my outpost or where I could build an outpost, I guess, right? You can, yes. Um, but it's basically just a chunk of a cave. Um, and I guess you can kind of see on the card where um, the dice that we rolled in the very beginning indicates the paragraph that Anthony read to me. So um, I'm just going to put that down here underneath. This will be the below right. section. Okay, so, <clears throat> so that's the end of your turn. Yep. Okay. So yeah, that'll allow her to build these outposts without a cave. You can, so she'll build that directly on top of that cave. That's mm -hmm. how you do it. Uh, so what do I want to do? I think with her, I'm going to work. Okay. So I'm going to get a dollar from the bank, and I'm going to get a cider. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. So now I own cider. You go. Perfect. Um, all right. What do I want to do? I don't have that much money. Hmm. All right. I think I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this guy to work. Okay. So you want to earn your buck? Yeah, I need to earn my bucks. All right. There's a dollar for you. Thank you. Uh, with this guy, I'm going to build for two dollars this key house, and this mm. is going to give me two re rolls. Nice. So that should help when I start exploring. Okay. All right. Here Perfect. we go. I'm all out of people. Okay. And I'm going to put this guy to work too. <laughs> All right. uh, actually, do I want to do that? I'm going to put him to work. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll All right, another dollar. Yep, yeah, another buck. Thank you. All right, and that ends, that ends our the round. round. So let's move the, the moon up one more track okay. and cave system. Uh, we're going to get a new cider on the board. No new villagers because we didn't buy any. Mm -hmm. Uh, we get to rest our villagers. I have four beds, so I get okay. to slide them over. And I have three beds, um, but I have my cider, so I can move this you guy You spend the cider? Yeah, All right, so put that back in the Is pool. That? Oh, can we put it just right back in the pool? Yeah, we never go through them all. Okay. Um, and we collect income, so you're still at four. I am at four. I'll give you a five, and I'm still at five, so I will take a five. And now we 
refreshed goods on buildings, which you don't have, and now I pass the player one card back to you. Okay, thanks. And we can get into the next round. All right, um, so I'm up. And uh, as expensive as this is, I really need this extra bed. So I put my guys to work last time and I'm gonna buy this bed for nine. Well, it's a house, but it contains a bed, which is fantastic, <clears throat> so. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and take that, and I'll use this guy to do it. Okay, so. Um, so I'll slide these up too, like you did. Okay. And let me refresh that for you too. Okay. Okay, now this, I guess this card also gives me pots. these pots. And you get two for the mm -hmm. two dots. It doesn't create more, but there will be two here that you need to harvest if you okay. want them. Okay, I have to harvest pots. Yep, okay. or make them, I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right, so we got that watchtower thing. Oh, and perfect. What is that? Is it more beds? More beds. All right, good. All right, so. And let's put this in the bank for me, if you would. Oh, uh, that's put this my in nine. The bank? What do you think? It's my nine. I paid for the house. Oh, you, you did? Okay. <laughs> Unless wow. you want to give me a free house. That was I mean, all I'll your money? It, but pretty much, yeah. Wow. I okay. needed it, though. You did. Okay. All right, what do I have? Seven dollars here? Mm hmm. Hmm. I think. I'm going to pay, I'm going to build with him. Okay. And I'm going to pay $4. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this house. Mm. And let me put a worker to work. As okay, soon as I buy right it. Away. Yep. Perfect. All right. Mm, my big one money. Um. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put her to work, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get a buck, and I'm gonna take this one. Okay, there's a dollar for you. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put her to work mm -hmm. as a trainer, and train number two on this the board. Guy? That's gonna cost me three gold. No, the this second guy. guy. Yep. Okay. Three gold, and he goes right into play. Mm -hmm. Nice. Right, now you're up. Okay. Um, and I guess with these guys, I'll go exploring. Why not? Oh, right to it. So right you can put them on. Oh, put yeah. them on your cave. I always want to exhaust them right away. Oh, no. and that's Before not... they even go out. I know. <laughs> All right, I'll All give right. you the dice tray. Thank you. Five. Five. 59. 59. So let's see what adventure. I'll keep those dice handy here. Yeah, I know, I know. All right. You reach a cave with walls as smooth as glass. Hundreds of snails the size of sheep crawl along the walls and ceiling in every direction. They leave gooey trails behind them that crisscross the cave in a complex pattern. Mm -hmm. Before you're able to take more than a few steps, the snails start sliding slowly toward you, converging on your group. Oh, gross. Do you try to fight them off or go back the way you came? Mm -hmm. So you have a choice. You can turn around. Okay. And that's going to cost you explore two. Okay. Or you fight the snails oh. for an explore four or seven. Four or seven. Mm -hmm. Two, three, five, five. Um, I guess I'll try to fight him fight. for four. Fight. 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 <laughs> All right. Fight for four. All right. Let's okay. do it. I so guess. You, you need an explore four. All right. So I've got. Um, I'm shooting for a three or better. Yep. We're starting at the left. So. Okay. And I got Bang. three. All right. So there's works. two. You're okay. halfway there. <laughs> halfway there. And I need a four or better for this guy. Yep. And oh, I got five. Perfect. I did it. Wow, okay. good rolling today. Thanks. All right, so you fought the snails and won, and for that, for an explore four, you get two coins. Nice. Thank you. You get a potion. Uh huh. Wonderful. And plus one reputation. Oh, nice. Wow, that was a See, good one. See, I'm just kicking butt all over the place in time. these games. All right. All right. So that was actually good That's for you. That's pretty good. All right, and I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna put these guys down here. Uh, I don't mind, and you can take your cave. I'm gonna take my cave. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna follow suit, and I'm gonna explore. Ooh, okay. With these two guys, and now you get to read. Okay. From the big book. From the big book of. <laughs> of above and below. Of above and below. Okay. All right, so you are reading. Page forty. Let's see, number forty. Number forty. All right. Ooh, in a cave filled with stalagmites, you meet 
a thin man, his face filled with wrinkles, his eyes rimmed red. He's wearing a ragged robe. Mm. On his shoulder rests a black lizard with bright red eyes, licking the air as you approach. Okay. I've lost my way. Could you help me find the surface, he asks. Do you- The lizard or the wizard? It's a black lizard. But, but who asked? It's just a lizard. Okay. Yeah. There wasn't a wizard? Well, the man in robes. I'm assuming he's the wizard. I'm sure he's a... I don't know. I guess it's the man. I don't think the lizard's on his shoulders. It really <laughs> it's important. It's, this, this is important to my decision. All right. I'm assuming it's the wizard, okay, not, not the, the lizard. lizard. Okay. That's unfortunate, but go on. <laughs> in my narrative, it was definitely the lizard. Okay. Go ahead. Um, all right. So I've lost my way. Could you please help me find the surface? He asked. Do you lose valuable time and help him, or do you keep searching the cave? Okay, so help him find the surface. That's mm -hmm. an explore three mm -hmm. or an explore seven. Mm -hmm. Or ignore the request and keep searching. That's mm -hmm. an explore four or an explore six. Hmm. Uh, wow, that's going to be tough. <laughs> uh, I'll do the explore four, ignore him and keep searching. Ignore him and keep searching. Okay. Yes, I don't trust this shifty wizard. This shifty wizard list. <laughs> The wizard lizard. lizard. I don't like him. All right, so I need a four. Okay. So four. rolling for the first. Okay. And I get a two. So that's going to be zero. Okay. Rolling for the second, one. I get a one. So I get two re-rolls. Nice. All right. So I'm going to roll once. I get a four. four. Okay, so you got two. All right, so I'm going to roll for the frog now. And a six. That's five. Perfect. All right. So All you right. pass. I pass. All right, so what do you get? All right, so for this, you get a coin. One, one coin. Money. That's it. Um, a fish. A f Ooh, a fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you lose one reputation. That's fine. I knew I'd probably lose for that. So. Yeah. All right, but I do get a cave. You get a chunk of a cave anyway. A piece of cave. A piece All right, of cave. that works for me. All right, you're and good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm done. I pass. You pass. Well, my people are are um, all sleeping. So. Okay, so I guess I'll just put him to work. Okay. Make a buck. That's about all I can do anyway. Okay. All right. So that ends the round. So let's go advance the round marker. Mm -hmm. Moving right along here. Uh, new cider token. Okay. New villagers. Yes. Yeah. So we need to actually get new villagers this time. And what do we get? All right, another builder. Another builder. All right, now we get to rest our villagers. I have four beds. Okay. And I also have four beds. And I will pay a cider, because mm -hmm. he was actually sleeping, not hurt. <laughs> um, pay a cider back, and I will move him to awake now. Okay. So they're rested. Now we collect our income. So okay. you're still at four, I'm right? I'm still at four. So I'll give you a five. I'm at five still. I'll take a five. And that's it. So you pass the player one token to me, and I get to start this round. Very excited. Okay, so since I'm player one, I think I'm going to start right off and work and get a cider. Mm. I don't want to have to worry about my bed situation again. So if you'll pass me okay. another keg of cider, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm there up. There we go. Yep. Cider and fish. Mm. And bushin. And bushin. And bushin. Eight bucks. Hmm. What is up for grabs that I want? Well, I guess I'll go with, uh, I guess I'm going to go with this bed here. Okay. So I'll put my little builder guy to work, this guy, and... What does that give you? One potion? It gives me one potion. Okay. There's, yes. your, there's your potion. Thank you. And your bed. And... What do we get? Something good? Ten mm, bucks. It's not, no, it's not bad. Right. Oh, all right. Um, I'm gonna build as well. 
I'm going to spend all eight of my dollars. Mm. And I'm going buying? to build an outpost. Mm. Okay. To get two ore mm -hmm. on this card that will have to be mined. All right, here we go. I'm up. You are up. All right. Hmm. Well, I have three coins. Hmm. I'll wait on that, maybe. Hmm. All right. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna spend my money. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna buy this house for three dollars. Oh, could you please flip that over? Oh, so sorry. So sorry. Uh, sorry, it's above your cost. But that's it a is. nice house. It is a nice house mm. at a good price. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm too poor. So let's see. So I'm just going to get this one. So that'll give me at least one extra coin. Mm -hmm. That's an income generating house. It right, is an income so. generating house. Did I, um, I need nope, to move a Nope, you need to move a builder. No. So I'll bring this over. Okay. Flip this up. All right. Mm hmm. And my turn. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to explore. Okay. Again. So we're going to hit this cave. And here we go. You are going to read number two, which Paragraph is 94. 94. Where's my book? This book is by you. All right. Shepherd book. 94. Was it 94? Right. Yes, 94. 94. 94. Okay, you arrive at a door of an underground monastery. Mm. A bald monk opens the door when you knock. We can share with you great knowledge if you prove your worth, okay. he says. As he speaks, you notice a dock nearby where a traveler is fishing. Do you continue speaking with the monk, or do you bid him farewell and try to catch some fish? Hmm. What are my choice? What are my uh, explore options? You here? can catch some fish. Uh -huh. That'll be explore three. Uh -huh. Prove your worth to the monk. Uh -huh. Explore five or explore seven. Explore five. Prove my worth. Okay. Ready? Let's see what you're worth. First roll, three. I got two. Okay. I'll keep that. I'm gonna roll for froggy. Mm -hmm. I roll five, a six, so I get oh, five. Yeah. So there you're done. Go. Done. All right. Simple enough. So you get paper. Oh, okay. And one reputation. Nice. So you earn your reputation back. I got it back. Okay. Back in the good graces. All right, and I get a piece of cave. Mm hmm. Uh, let me just touch on these items we're getting and what we're not doing with anything with them. Okay. So I've got paper and fish here. I've got ore. Uh, Frances has pots that so she hasn't actually harvested yet. But what these items are f basically you do with them is you, you, you start putting them in place here and you'll start placing them. In, uh, from left to right on this board. Once you place them here, you can't change that item type. Uh, what that'll do is at the end of the game, this item here will earn me um, one victory point and it increases my income. And so as I start building them forward, I'll get more and more victory points and increased income. But the thing is, you get that amount of victory points for each of these items on that square. So on this circle. So if I want to put like five fish over here, I'm going to get five fish times four victory points. It's 20 points. So it's like, so it's better to, to kind of wait and put them out in order of which I have my least amount quantity wise from left to right and have a lot of them stacked up down here to, to multiply my, my score. Mm -hmm. So, and that's where the rarity of the items come in. So as you, you wouldn't want to put a common item here because you're getting a lot of them, but you'd want to put something rare here because you're not going to get that many. Yeah. So that's the down and dirty. But okay. that's it. You're up. Cool. Um, all right. I can't really train anybody else. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go explore with these guys. Ooh, that's Why not? Okay. 
Is it though? Yeah, there's not much. What? Well, I mean, you could exhaust well, the worst case. I mean, case, what are you gonna right? do? Yeah. I mean, that's fair. It's so much fun. You like exploring. I like, yeah, I like uh, hoarding empty caves. <laughs> yeah. You do, and you don't I build do. anything. <laughs> I don't build anything. All right, so All right. roll it up. Let's see which uh, paragraph you get. One, second, paragraph, paragraph three. three. <laughs> All right, adventure number three. You journey over piles of sharp gray rocks, slippery from the mist of a trickling waterfall nearby. Far off, you can see a dark opening lined with ancient columns, but the mm. climb to it looks even more treacherous. Do you attempt to reach the column or search the piles of rocks? If you search the rocks, that's an explore three. Mm -hmm. Head towards the columns, that's an explore five and explore eight. Mm. There is a bonus of plus two lanterns if you own a rope. I don't own any rope. Sorry. Not right now. So explore three, right. explore five, or explore eight. Um. Uh, I guess I'll go. What is it? Four f or five? Three is to search. Three or five. Heading mm -hmm. towards the columns is five or eight. Yeah, I don't think I want to put them in in the injured pile, so I'll just do the explore three. Okay. So probably won't get Let's much. See what you get. Let's see. Oh, Six. There's one. So that's, I get one. Two. Um, I get one. You have two right now. I have two. And I have one re -roll. a reroll. So I'll go ahead and use that. Six. Bang. Cool. So there's my three. So what All do I right. get? You did it. You get <laughs> one gold coin. Nice. Thank you. That's one more than I had before. Yep. All right. So take your, uh, your people and your cave. Okay. Your empty cave. My empty cave. Hey, I'm working on it, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a society in progress here. I see. Okay, so my turn. What do I want to do? I don't have any money. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to, I'm going to actually place this paper mm -hmm. down here. So now paper's locked in. Uh, but that's going to permanently increase my base income to five. So five plus one, I'll get six every round now. Um, and with my last worker... I don't. I still don't have enough money to do anything, so I'm going to send her off. Do I want to? Yeah, I'll send her off to get to make some money. Boom. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. You're up. Um. All right. Now I don't have any people left, but I'm going to put my pots here. You can't do that. Why? Because they have to be harvested. Oh, and that's an action. Yes. Oh dear. Okay. Well, maybe next time. Then. Yep, just like I can't do my oars. Yeah. Oh, why didn't I do that? Yeah, I don't know. A, you know what? I'm putting that dollar back. Oh, please. Come on. I'm going to harvest. Okay. I totally forgot I could do mm -hmm. that. No? Go for it. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Come on. That's fine if you want to win that way. I'm not going to win that way. That's not going to be the difference. <laughs> trust me. Uh, all right. End of round. Round marker. All right. We're getting close we already. We have three rounds left. I know. New I cider. Like we're not... We don't have anything... In our little society. All right, here. and now we rest our villagers. All right. I've got four beds, but I'm going to rest all five by using my one and only cider. Okay, and I have four beds. I actually have five beds, and I'm going to rest all my workers. All right. Um, collect income. What do you get? I get, get five. five. Yeah. yeah. And I get six. All right, and now we pass the one player token over. Okay. And start up. On round number five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, lead right. us off. I'm up. All right, I'm gonna start off with a big exploration. Wow. Um, really? I think. Well, actually, you know what? Yes, I am. I'm going to start off with more cave with an exploration. More cave. Yet another <laughs> cave case. system that you've not put an outpost on. I know, but I I know. The, I, I have a strategy. All right, well, put them okay. on your cave. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, let me roll it up. Okay, here's your dice tray. <laughs> I, I like reading out of the book. I know you do. <laughs> this is a good part of the game. Keeps it interesting. Yep. All right, two. What so we, we got, got uh, paragraph 127. 127. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. As you travel through a chamber lined with thin waterfalls, mm -hmm. your party meets a muscular woman with a shaved head. Oh, dear. There is a small village of fish folk near here. They stole a chest of gold from me as I was traveling. Will you help me get it back, she says, with her eyes filled with bitterness. You've never heard of fish folk attacking travelers before. 
Perhaps the woman isn't telling the whole truth. Do you help her retrieve the gold? Or do you seek out fish folk and warn them that the woman plans to attack them? Mm. Whoa. Whoa. So you can help the woman uh -huh. at a four or a seven. Okay. And you can find and warn the fish folk at a three. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Ooh, decisions. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's a four, seven, or a three. If you want to help the woman, it's a four, seven. Um, I'll go ahead. I'm actually going to go ahead with the seven. Wow, explore yeah. seven? Yeah, I'm going to like throw everything out here. Okay. Well, because I've got my guy, potentially you could get three, okay. you could potentially get two, and then if I have to rest them both, okay. I'll do that, but we'll see. So we'll see. That's what it's about, right? Yeah, it's a gamble. <laughs> this is a As pressure, I roll a one. Pressure lock, let's see. <laughs> oh, Five. there's three. All right, so there's three right there. Yep. And what do I need? You seven? need four more. I need four more. <laughs> three. All right, uh, And I have one reroll, re though. Okay. I got a one again. So that's four. Seriously? So that's yeah, four. Yeah, that's a fail. I'm that's sorry. That's a big fail. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Well, but that's sure good. So that illustrates what happens when, right. when we So take so your workers. They're both exhausted. They're exhausted. Not expended, anything. but exhausted. Yeah. And that goes on the bottom of the cave pile. Yes. So I don't get to keep this chunk of a cave. You do not. And no one ever gets to go there again <laughs> for the rest of the Thank game. goodness. Oh, that you really sounded terrifying. That. Yeah, well, I wanted to see what would happen. All right. All right. That's good. You're good, up. good. 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 All right, sir. So I'm going to. I think I'm going to make a purchase. Okay. And I'm going to spend four dollars. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to buy this outpost with the bed. Okay. Because I need this bed. And I'm going to use this guy to build it. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Yes, very nice, actually. And it is your turn. Okay. And I am going to... So I can put him to work then and use him to harvest pots, right? You can say, yeah, you want to harvest. I'm going to, whatever that means. I guess he's going to go build pots. He's going to go make a pot, right? Okay. So you can take one and put it in your inventory. Okay, so I'm going to put that. Right there. Right there. All right. Okay. Very good. You're up. I am going to, with him, go to work and make a dollar. Okay. And get cider. Mm-hmm. And your turn. And I'm gonna put her to work and get a dollar. And get a dollar. And with her, I'm going to train. I'm going to train. Hmm. I'm gonna train the first guy. Okay. He comes He's in at cool. the ready. Yeah. All right, your turn. Um, I pass. You pass, I have one dollar. I'm going to have him, who, I'm going to send all three of them mm -hmm. into the cave system. Ooh, nice. And we're going to do a big exploration. Explore. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go right. big this time. Go for it. All right. Let's see what we get here. Two. Two. So paragraph 18. 18. Let's see. All right, your party camps at an at a oh near an abandoned underground village. Ooh. As your fire dies, an eerie whistling sends shivers up your spine. Soon, a pale, glowing ghost appears. Mm. His eyes are white and have no pupils, and the flesh is rotting on his spectral face. Listen to my tale, and I will reward you. He screams. Mm. Do you try to hide from the ghost, mm. or gather your wits and grant his request? Mm. You can hide from the ghost which will be an Explore 3 or an Explore 7. Mm -hmm. Or you can face the ghost and listen to a story, which is an Explore 5. I'll do a Hide 7. A Hide from the Ghost 7. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Mm -hmm. So first roll is a four, mm -hmm. so that's two. Second roll is a six, which is three more, that's five. Mm -hmm. And the last roll is a four, which is two more, that's seven. Perfect. All right. You get two coins. Okay. And? An amethyst. <gasps> yes. And minus one reputation. What? <laughs> For hiding? For hiding, because that's, you know, it's weak. That is weak, but it is so worth it. Yeah. All right. Okay, so these guys are all sleepy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna plant this amethyst here. Um. What? No. With what? Do you no, you, these are free actually. They're free. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna plant this here, the ore. Okay. And I'm gonna plant a fish. I'm not gonna plant the fish yet. I'll hold on to him. What? Okay. All right, I'm done. Okay. Are you done? Yep. Okay, let's uh, let's end the round. So move the round marker up to round six. Um, new cider. New villagers. And now we rest. So I've got one, two, three, four, five beds and six villagers. There's okay. six villagers and a cider. I'll pay for the last one. Okay. Um, collect income. What do you make now? I'm making six. Six dollars. And I make six, seven dollars. All right. And Pass the first player card. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much. And we are now moving into round six. Okay, so between rounds, Francis and I had a quick discussion on the rules <laughs> and uh, some clarification, just in case it was unclear as to what was, what's happening here. So when you earn these um, items, we'll say goods, right, from exploration, for example, they go right into your inventory. That's what I've been putting up here. Um, at any time, this is called the advancement track, at any time you can place these in your advancement track, right? And those rules apply where it can only be, you know, they have to go in order, you can't skip spaces, and it's got to be different ones, right? But I could stack multiples of the same on top of each other to get the point multiplier. What could be a little confusing is if you have a card such as this mine, for example, right? And it came with two iron ore, or two ore on it. Those aren't in my possession yet. They're in the mine, they're harvestable, but they're not in my possession yet, so I can't put them here. So I harvested it one round, and once I harvest it, now it goes into my general inventory and can be placed on this track at any time. Mm -hmm. As soon as I harvest it, I could put it there, I could put it there three rounds from now. It doesn't matter, it's whenever you want to do it. But in order to do that, you need to harvest that, so. Yeah, very clear. Very clear now? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, uh, but no, I can see how that, there's no like inventory spot. To right, put stuff. I think that's. I think that's what's yeah. missing from this game, and we could. Yeah, talk we can about talk about that later. later. <laughs> uh, but that's that's the only thing that can be a little bit confusing. But I'm player one. I get to go first. I am going to build a building. Okay, what are you going to build? I have ten dollars to spend. Okay, what are you going to buy? I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I'll spend <laughs> five of my ten. Okay. And I'm going to use my weak worker, mm -hmm. and he's going to build this mm. mushroom factory. Nice. So this comes with two mushrooms, and to go along with our rule, as we just discussed, these are not in my inventory yet. I will need to harvest them in order to get them into my inventory to be able to put them on my advancement track. So there they go. And cool. once I harvest the two, it's empty, and I can't harvest anymore. Okay. All right. I'm up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Um. Oh, hold on. Let me get you another. Oh. Another outpost yes, that you may you. want to build. <laughs> I may want to build. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. That's the same one you just Looks got. Looks a lot like what I just <laughs> built. Looks a lot like what's in here. <laughs> Keys. All right, I'm going to. Um. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna rest this guy for one. Rest him. Yep. Or work him. Well, I'm gonna work him. Then he's for gonna money? Be so tired. Yeah. Right. So I'm working him. Working for He's working hard for the money. He is. All right. 
Um, and I'm going to grab the cider from okay. that. Okay. Okay. You're up. Uh, hmm. What do I want to do here now? I'm going to use... Man. I don't like the look of this. I'm going to go big explore again. Okay. But I'm going to send two in the pit. Okay. This time. I think these two do a fine job. <laughs> Even though he's got like a blindfold over one of his eyeballs. Oh, that's because he worked so hard. He hurt himself. All right. Here we go. One. Page. What is okay, it? I'm Paragraph 28? Uh, one is 28. Yeah, I'm running out of room to place this. Oh, yeah. I'll put it up here. It's fine. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Your party wanders a huge dark cavern. You come upon a twisted iron fence and follow it until you reach a gate. Beyond it lie hundreds of cracked stones covered in strange writing, an ancient graveyard. Mm. No sooner have you entered than a white ghost appears. Another ghost. This is probably the same one. And a young boy. Oh, His eyes cool. empty pools. Oh. His clothes ragged and torn. Okay. I can't find my mother's grave, says the boy. He sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> like an old lady, but that's cool. <laughs> help me find her or I shall haunt you. Oh. Do you stop to help him or ignore the, ignore the boy's threats? I want to so ignore him. You <laughs> <laughs> can I do that? Really? Oh. <laughs> okay. You can help the boy find his mother. That's going to be an explore three okay. or an explore five. All right. You can ignore him or ignore him right. and search the graves for treasure. No, That's I'm going to help him find. Four, explore seven. I'm going to help him find mommy for you five. You sure? Yeah. I'm, He's going to find mommy. I'm going to lose points if I start going bad. And I think if I don't help him, I'm in trouble. So, okay. I'm so that's a three or a five. Which one are you going for? Five. Okay. All right. So here's the frog. Okay. Frog rolls a four. So he's got that's two. two. Boy rolls a five. That's two. That's four. Mm -hmm. What do I need? A five? You need five. I get two re rolls. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to use the re roll. I'm going to no? take a four and I'm going to expend. Let's go over okay. expend. Yes. So Good. Expending. So I've got four point four lanterns, right? So he's going to go into the uh, exhausted. Now I'm going to expend him, and that can earn me one extra lantern. But he's now injured because he's pushed a little bit harder to help this kid. Um, and I do get the success. So what did I get for the five? For the five, you get an amethyst. Very nice. I'm just rolling an amethyst. Now. I right. guess so, yes. All right. And what else? And you get plus one reputation. See? So I knew you're it. not going to be losing pets anymore. I so. knew it. I knew that was going to yes. win a foul if I didn't help him. So I got an amethyst. Say I got it. It's in my inventory. I can put it right there on top yep. of that bad boy. Got you. All right. Okay. And that is that. You go. Okay. I'm up. All right. I'm going to. Can you please move that oh, giant I'm box? Oh, so sorry. Thank you. Um, I'm going to use my worker guy. Mm -hmm. This weak little work work workling. <laughs> workling. <laughs> He's a little tiny worker. Okay. All right. And I'm going to. Spend all of my money. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna spend fourteen dollars. You're going for the star. I'm going for the star house. Oh no. Ugh. And this okay, and this is gonna give me two points. Mm -hmm. Plus, at the end of the game, two points for every worker I Very have. Very good. So that's gonna go right under Very here. Very good. It's better than the other one that would have given you two points for every outpost you built. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, what do I have left here? I think I need some monies, but mm. it's so hard to make money in this game. It is hard to it make money. It really is. I think I'm going to. I'm running out. I'm going to use her mm -hmm. to harvest Kay. one of my shrooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, yeah, you, okay. you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, 
<clears throat> I think I think I'm gonna use him and I'm gonna explore. One explorer. Okay. One the sole explorer. Oh, you're not gonna bring the, the, the lady? Just him, huh? No, yeah, I don't really want to. Throw okay. it in there. I don't need that book. Here it is. So four. four. So that's page or paragraph two. Two oh eight. All right. What do we got? All right. You arrive at the capital city of the Glagos, mm. a massive metropolis cut into the cavern wall. As you approach the main gate, you spot a fish folk man running from a group of Glagos soldiers. Help me, he says when he sees you. They've had me locked up here for no reason. Do you help the fish folk man escape or do you stop him and hand him over to the Glagos? You can catch the fish folk man and turn him over uh -huh. for three. Or you can fight the Glagos and help the fish folk man escape mm. for four or six. Ooh. I think I will, um, I'll help him escape. All right. So, uh, a four or six are you going to go for? Okay. Which one? The four. Oh, uh, the four? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Six. And you cool. got three. So I got three. So mm -hmm. I'm going to expend him into the injured pile because he's down there all by himself, poor guy. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to take this. And what do I get for doing that? Okay. So for helping him escape, you get two fish. Ooh. And I get those right away. Right away, they go right into your inventory. Okay. And you get minus two reputation. Ah, <gasps> no. Yes. One, two. All yes. right. Okay. Okay. So cool. you're done. All right. All right. Did you want to place those fish? Um. Them. Hmm. No, I'll wait. You'll wait. All right. So I have five bucks. Do I want to buy something? Go buy a potion. I could what? Buy a potion. I don't really need that. <laughs> I have one sitting mm. here. Um, oh, hmm. No, I don't like that one either. This is most disturbing. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna spend four of my five dollars. I'm gonna go to build. Mm. What are you gonna build? I'm gonna build this outpost that is going to give me a perpetual supply and that's what that little arrow means uh, the arrow next to the good is perpetual so it refills every round F mm. if it's been harvested nice a perpetual supply of fish cool and i will restock and you can go my turn mm -hmm. all right well wow there's a lot of mushroom houses up <laughs> that would be nice to have a mushroom farm down here that would be nice i'm going to use her Mm -hmm. And I'm going to harvest this pot. Okay. And just place it right on my track. Very good. That's okay. And um, and I can. Uh, well, I'll wait to do that. All right. So that's what she's going to do. That's what she's going to do. Well, I think I'm going to put these fish on there too. Okay. So I'm going to put this fish down here. You want that income? Yeah. All right. So All right, I think I'm going to follow suit. I'm going to put a mushroom here. I'll put a fish here. So you put a fish there and you'll put a mushroom there. Yeah, I'll, or that. But you have to fill left to right. Yeah, I know. So I'll do that and then I'll use him and harvest this other fish and I'll just put it right there. Okay. Cool. I probably should have did that the other way around, I think. Would you like to change your response? I would like to change Go for it. my response and do that. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Are okay. you done? I'm done. I am done. So let us do the end of round. So round marker goes up to round seven. Last this round. This will be the final round. Uh, new cider. Okay. New villagers, which there are none mm -hmm. to do. Now we rest. Okay. Right. Well, before we rest, I'm going to spend my potion. Or is that part of well, the rest? Well, that's part of the rest. So okay. the first thing we can do is spend potions and cider. Right, so, so I'll spend you're a potion, too, right? you're going to spend a potion, and we're going to bring these guys over okay. one. And now we rest for beds. So I've got one, two, three, four, five beds. I can't rest all my guys. So I'll bring all of them over, except for him. He's going to stay tired. Okay. And that's it. And now we collect income. What is your income? Um, Seven. So here is seven dollars. Okay. And mine is seven eight. All 
All right. And after income, we refresh goods on all buildings. So mm -hmm. that's where I do my little fishy. I put another fish on. Mm -hmm. so it's a fishing hole. And then I pass the first player card to you. Okay. So you are now player one, and we're about to enter the final, seventh and final round. Okay. All right. Round seven. Round seven. Here we go. Um, all right. I'm going to put her to work. Mm -hmm. She is going to train this Ooh. guy for two. Very good. And he's going to go right to work because he is able to do that. Is he that is thing? able to do that. Yes. I am going to start right off the bat with an exploration. Mm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll put the board up here. Okay. And we will roll. Five. Five. 197. Okay. What mm. is in store for me? That's in like the back of the book. Yep. All right. 197. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. All right. You travel through a wide, misty cavern mm -hmm. until suddenly a man in a red cape appears. Ooh. You recognize him instantly. The Red Hunter, a legendary adventure and the source of many a campfire tale. In a silky tenor voice, he greets you. I require your assistance hunting a dangerous criminal, he said. Mm. You're eager to join him and share in his adventures, but you sense something's not quite right. The Red Hunter seems on edge and there's a slight twitch to his eye. Okay. <laughs> do you join him or do you decline but follow him to see what happens? Mm, all right, so well. you can join him in his search. That's explore four. Okay. Decline but follow the red hunter. That's an explore three or an explore six. Six. We're doing that. You're going for I six. I don't trust this shifty man. All right. With the red cloak. Never trust the red cloaks. All right. You ready? Okay. Six. Right. Six. All right. So I need a five. Bang. Mm -hmm. That's three. Mm -hmm. And now we need a six. That's not good. That's a four, mm -hmm. so that's three, four, five, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to do that. I'm going to exhaust. You're going to exhaust one, so you're going to get the six. Yep. You're just exhausting So one. he's exhausted. Okay. He succeeded. Okay. And we'll stick with that. I don't want to risk it. So what do we have? Okay, so for that, mm -hmm. um, I get to read paragraph 200. Ooh. Ooh. It's like it's like kind of true to your own adventure. Yes, I've chosen. All right, so paragraph 200. You follow the Red Hunter from a safe distance. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he, <laughs> would that be terrible? That was very anticlimactic. He leads you back to a camp where a fire is blazing. A thin man sits next to the fire. Oh, the thin man. But on the second glance, you realize it's just a set of clothes stuffed with straw. What? <laughs> the red hunter sits next to it, chatting, but you can't make out what he says. Suddenly, he lets out a shrieking laugh and tosses the dummy into the fire. He picks up the bag, sets off, leaving you to search the scattered camp he left behind. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's it? What no, do I get? Oh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be the worst? Yeah. It's uh, six coins. Oh, whoa. And you get or. Or what? Or else. Or else. That's it? Six coins or? Or. Or. That's it. Okay. You meant or. Iron ore, dear. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put that right on the board. All right. Six you, bucks? Yeah, six bucks. That's good, right? That's fantastic. Okay. All right. Possibilities uh, are endless. That was great. All right. Let's move forward. Yes, let's move forward. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, my turn again. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to... All right. How do I want to do this here? I'm going to put this guy to work, and mm. he is going to train this guy. So I'll get mm. two cents change, please, and he goes right into my pile. There's your two. Yep. Oh, actually, can I take this other guy instead? Uh, sorry, your turn's already done, so you're not allowed to go back. I think I let you read your turn like twice already this game. I'm just going to take this guy. He's worth the same money, but I'm going to take him instead. That's fine. All right. If you thanks. want to cheat. Um, 
I'm sure folks are getting used to that. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm going to just use uh, this guy and work. Okay. So I'll make a buck and then I get a, I get a cider. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I've got a lot of builders. I've got these other guys. Um, I've got two coins, which isn't that much. Hmm. Mm. What do you do? I'm going to... I think I'm going to actually... I'm going to, I'm going to work this guy, so I'm going to get a buck, or actually, I'm going to do that. What is it? What are you thinking? No, I'm oh, okay. thinking of my own moves. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Oof, it's tough. It is, it really is. Um, all right, new plan. I'm going to work all three of these guys for for three bucks three dollars okay thank you you're up i'm going to build mm -hmm. for sixteen dollars oh nice this. how'd you get all that money i got six bucks in the you are <laughs> sitting next to the money pot so, yeah. Which is off camera. So. It is. <laughs> but now I, you saved your money last I did. time. I've I been saving money up. Good, good. For a big, and this is going to give me two points for every outpost, the one that you nice. should not have bought. The one I should not have bought, that's yeah. Correct. Plus it'll give you seven, too. That's yes, a good one. So that's a that's really great. good, powerful card. That's awesome. All right, I'm up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use this guy to build. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I'm going to build this one. Still not going to build a... I'm still not building an outpost. Yeah. I have zero outposts. Is that... I think I should get points for that. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All I'm right. going to build that. Then uh, and he goes here. My last worker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to harvest another fish. Okay. Put here. Cool. All right. You're up. Uh, and I pass. You're done. Okay. So... Uh, End of round. Actually. End of round. End of game. Yeah, so I don't think we refresh anything. Nope. I think no we need. just go into final game scoring. All right, so the way we score is the first thing we do is start out with the advancement track. So let's okay. go ahead and get those points. So okay. how many do you have? I have one, two, three, four. <laughs> four whopping. points. Four points. Okay, so we're going to get a point for every. Well, the, the, they tell you how many points you get for every item, and then you just add it up. So I've got three fish, that's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Perfect. All right, so I've got 22 points and you've got how many? Four. Four, so we'll keep track of it this way. So just go like this. Okay. There's your four. Okay. Or you could just put four, okay. use one die and do four, because I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna go 22. Yeah. All right. And next we score buildings. Okay. All right. Um, each building is worth one village point. Okay. So just count up your buildings. It's just straight up bonus. Except and for your starter Except buildings. for your starter. Right. Nine. Eight. I forgot we got points for those, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. So I've got 31. I don't know how to represent this with no zero on here. <laughs> I have 20, so. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. All together. That's uh, fair. Okay, so next is reputation. So okay. here, this is at the end of the game, it, for a two-player game, mm -hmm. the one with the most reputation gains three. Okay. If we're tied, we get nothing. And we're tied. All right, so we then get we get, either we get nothing or we can both get three. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Just, well, let's get three so you can put 23 on the board. Okay, so 20. So do a oh, yeah, that yeah. helps. Thanks. Then I'll do 34. Okay. That way we can actually represent okay. score. Okay. Next is card bonuses. So okay. look at the cards that give you bonuses mm -hmm. and let's add those up, right? Okay. 
So let's do yours first. So right. pull yours out, let's see. Okay, so I it. have two, three, and then um, you want to tally these as well? Yeah, so. Okay, so three. Three. And then I get two for every character that I have or every worker. Right. And I've got six of those, so I actually get 12 right. for just that. Mm -hmm. And then I get one for every fish I have, which I have two fish. So I get two, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. 40 points. Okay. All right, I'm going to get into the zero problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I get. Yeah. That's a scoring card, and that's a scoring card. So I get seven, eight, mm -hmm. and two for every outpost. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, plus seven is 15, plus one is 16. Right? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. 16 points. Mm -hmm. So I've got 50 points right now. Okay. 50. Mm -hmm. And. That's it. That's it. That's all we score. Okay. So, so you beat me this time. Fifty to forty. Okay. Wow. I didn't. I didn't nice. see that coming. All right. Let's uh, let's go to the recap and then uh, we'll see how it went. So above and below the recap. What do you think? I love it. You love. Yeah, it. it's fun. Yes. What did you love about it? <laughs> <laughs> um, from a replayability standpoint, um, this play this game plays differently every single time. Yes. So Anthony got to win this time. Yes, I lost last time we played, yeah. um, and it played very different. Very differently. Yes. A um, couple of things we probably could have done in this in this game to change up yeah. the outcome, right? Like, of, as soon as we as soon as we finished, actually, I was like, you know what? We should have refreshed the house cards. So yes. one thing that you can do is actually um, you can pay. One, one money or money. coin doesn't cost any workers mm -hmm. um, and refresh your pile of four house cards yeah, refresh, refresh the, so, the the offer really, yeah the house offer because so. one thing that set off the game this time was yeah. the fact that we didn't have cards that had beds at right. first so it prevented us from really purchasing or not to say purchasing but training workers yeah and um because we didn't have the beds to really sleep them. Right, and you didn't like any of the any of the outposts. I hated the outpost. I didn't have a problem time. with the outpost cards. I, <laughs> I, I know you didn't. <laughs> so, and you um, can you can really attack this game in a couple different ways, right? And, I, and we were after we like looked at the scores, it, we noticed that like I won by ten points, but yeah. Purely because I was able to purchase that last star card that which for, for was, sixteen, which was just because of that last expedition. Because I you did. killed the last expedition, yeah. it paid me six dollars. Right. So that was huge. If I didn't do that, I would have definitely lost this game. Even with all the things that you obtained, right? So you can see that the strat, like you can approach this game with a, a number of different strategies. Right. You could probably and, go like the whole harvest route and try to get as many buildings that produce different types of goods exactly. and try to really pound out that 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 track. Yeah. Or you can go for some of the the combo bonuses. Or you can go exploring we well, can go exploring the whole so time so you make yeah. sure you you know train workers that have lots of lanterns and yeah stuff like that so, yeah, so it's good i mean it's, the, it's got the dice luck mechanics mm -hmm. but it does have you know, abilities to mitigate that yeah. by the expending the in the workers it's very balanced yeah uh component quality is really nice the artwork is it's top, beautiful top notch i mean really beautiful game mm -hmm. so kudos to that yeah um but yeah i mean i definitely enjoy this game it's fun i like to choose your own adventure <laughs> so. That component alone is it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So I've been been wanting to play this one for a long time. So Yeah. Yep. So okay. there you have it. That's Above it. and below. Thanks for watching. Uh please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We'll see you next time. Okay, see ya.